In this video, we're gonna talk about setting up your default transition. So I'm in my theme settings, in my design system tab, and if you scroll to the bottom here, you have default transition. Now, if you wanna override your default transition, you can click this toggle right here, but what's the default transition? Well, this is the default transition. It's this, that slide from right to left in 300 milliseconds. That's a default transition. So if you wanna change that, that is what gets automatically added to every new page, that's what you do in the default transition. So if you click it on, you can see you've got all of the different transition types, and then you can change the duration. But there are two things to keep in mind when you're setting up your transitions. First, transitions can be handled in two different ways. Now, this is the default transition, but you can always override it. So if you go into your builder and you set up a navigate action, you can set the transition type here. Your default will be whatever you set up in your theme settings, and you can override it. Now, when you're setting up transitions, there are two things to keep in mind. First, transitions can be handled in two different ways. One is by just normally setting up your transitions in your theme settings and in your navigate actions if you want to override it. The second way is by animations. Take a look at this transition. That was not a page transition. That was handled with animations. That is, in this tab right here, wherever you see these little purple animation icons. Now, those actually aren't transitions, but they're visually transitions in that they're what happens between one page and another page. So if you see a quote unquote cool transition on an app, it might just be an animation that's triggered on a page load. And this is one of the most common patterns is that you would set your transition type to instant and then animate the elements on your target page in whatever way you want. The second thing to keep in mind is that transitions are not just icing on the cake, but are communicating something. They're communicating the relationship between two things, in this case, between two pages. And so you wanna make sure that the transitions that you're selecting are intentional, are for a reason, are motivated. And the most common thing to keep in mind is the topography of your app and your app pages. So if you're building an app in a language that is left to right, like most Western languages, then the concept of going in or deeper into the hierarchy is going from left to right and top to bottom. This is why the default transition is moving to the right, because that's how we understand language. And going back is removing that. So just make sure that your transitions make sense and are mapping well to our understandings of going into and out of. Now, lastly, if you don't know what to choose, here are the two most common patterns. First, just leave it at its default. This is a common UI pattern in many, many apps and users are used to it, so it's fine. It'll work great. The second pattern is to set your default transition to instant and then animate on the different widgets on your screen according to whatever style you want. But just keep in mind to not get caught up in slow or drawn out animations. Users typically aren't looking at your app, they're using it. And so they wanna be able to click through it quickly and not feel like your app is lagging. And that's setting up transitions in your design system.